Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today we're going to be making coffee and we're going to be using this French press that we've got here today. If you've not ever heard of a French press, I'm going to explain how this process works to you today. So when you get your French press, it comes with this. This is the one liter Bodum French press and it comes with the glass carafe here and the, the stand that comes with it. And the second part of this is the plunger. As you can see here, it has a wire mesh screen at the bottom. This disassembles for easy cleanup and reassembles very easily as well. And uh, there will be no paper filters with us today as this mesh screen uh, acts as our filter for our coffee. Uh, down to the coffee now. So when I buy my coffee, I buy the whole bean coffee and I'll bring it home and I'll grind it to a coarse uh, grind. Uh, you definitely want a coarse grind with a French press. You don't want the fine grind with that. So I don't know if you can see here, but this is a, a kind of a coarse grind that I have for my coffee here. And I keep it stored in this airtight container. It is a vacuum sealed container. And I'll leave a link in the description below of what this is, but it's uh, very nice. It keeps the, the coffee fresh and uh, airtight in that container. So we're going to get started making our coffee now. So what I found with this one liter French press is four tablespoons of coffee is what I use to uh, brew a, this pot of coffee. So we'll start out with four rounded tablespoons. And then the next thing we want is our water. I have a kettle here. And with the water, with, with coffee, is you don't want to use boiling water with the coffee. The water needs to be between 195 and 205. And luckily, my kettle here has a temperature setting of 200. So I can get the, the water temperature set to where it is within that range. So what we want to do, we want to start slow and we want to bloom the coffee grinds. So we want to put just a little bit in the bottom and kind of get those going. And then we're going to fill it all the way up to the bottom of the copper ring here on the top. And I kind of use a little bit of a circular motion that way. It kind of makes sure that all of the coffee grounds get saturated with that where there it is. Alrighty. So with that, we'll take our plunger and I'm going to line the front of it up here and I'm going to set it right on the top here of the grinds and we're going to let it sit there and we're going to brew this for four minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for four minutes and uh, we'll be back to show you what happens next. All right, it has been four minutes and we're going to press the coffee now. See, we want to go and uh, press this into a slow motion. That way we get to uh, make sure that all the grinds go down with it. So I'm just adding a constant pressure. And you can see the plunger here as it goes, pushes all the, the coffee grinds to the bottom of the pot. All right, and that is it. That is how you make French press coffee. So I'm going to pour me a cup here and I get it fixed up. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, monk fruit. I don't use sugar in my coffee. I use monk fruit. There's no calories in that. So it is a one-to-one -one, uh, serving size as, as sugar. So if you want to try that out, that's definitely something to try out for that. And just a little bit of half and half. All righty. Give this a stir. And there you have French press coffee. Uh, give this a try. Let me know in the notes below uh, if you've tried it and your thoughts on French press and if that's one of your favorite coffees as well. And I'll have the link in the descriptions below of the Bodum uh, French press machine along with the airtight container here. So enjoy, try it, uh, check in the links below to let me know how you, how you come out with this. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.